Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your girl, Sherelle. I'm the host of West Talk, the show, and this ain't a podcast. Thank y'all for tuning in with me this Tuesday like y'all do every Tuesday. And thank you for being patient because we started late. We had a great show in store. Before I go any further, make sure you click that button in your lower right corner, the arrow, and send to three friends you think will love this conversation. So we jumping right into it. You guys know I got to give you something that I'm grateful for. Um, before I kick off, I see you guys joining. Make sure you guys uh, drop in the comment section something you're grateful for. Um, I am grateful for... I don't know, like just, I don't know. I'm grateful to be alive today. I'm gonna make it cute, sweet, and simple. I'm grateful to be alive. I see y'all joining. Make sure you go ahead and drop in the comment section something you're grateful for. And let me give you guys the background on what took me so long because I feel like I owe y'all that. My fucking buttons didn't work. I hit live a couple times, live not going. Um, My do not disturb button is not clicking. Like I can't turn nothing on. I can't click nothing. So I had to turn my phone off and just wait. And I had to do that a couple times. Um, So I don't know what's... What the fuck is going on? So I say I'm grateful for sugar mamas. I'm grateful for sugar daddies. <laughs> Anyways, that's another conversation for another day. Maybe we'll talk about that. Y'all want to talk about that, sugar daddies, sugar mamas? I'll put that on the book right down. All right, so like I said, jumping right into it, you guys. We got a great conversation in store for you all today because we got something to talk about. We got to talk about getting on the internet, on Beyonce's internet, and telling all your business. Y'all, okay, so if you guys have seen lately, it's been a lot of shit. And I'm not even just talking about the latest stuff that has been sweeping the internet. Like, this sucker shit is sweeping the internet on these podcasts, okay? I'm not even going to start right now. I'm going to take it all the way back to, and for some reason, it's fucking drink champs. It got to be the drink. It got to be the alcohol that's doing it. So we're going to throw it way back to kanye when he first went on a rant about big shy saying that was like the worst thing he ever did or whatever that was a while ago then we're gonna go back to jim jones i believe on lip service i think they was drinking too it must be the alcohol jim jones on lip service saying how his mama taught him how to tongue kiss lord that's a whole nother thing to unpack then we're gonna go ahead and rewind back to most recently to Irv Gotti mentioning how he was on the couch when he found out Ashanti and Nelly were dating or had dated or whatever. <sighs> Y'all, this nigga, bro. This nigga. And then we're going to drink champs again to um, who just did it, Neo, talking about how he got drunk and Ice-T gave him permission to grab Coco's ass. This shit is my bug lip mind-boggling like first off let me say something like this i know some people do not have an outlet to express themselves and they don't have people they can go to but i want you to understand because i mean this from the soles of my feet the internet is not a safe place okay it's not that shit is unforgiving these niggas are unforgettable i promise you that people literally repost shit that they have in their phone from two years ago that makes them laugh, that they think about it. If they think about funny shit two years down the line, you don't think they think about some embarrassing shit two years down the line? Niggas still ain't forgot embarrassing shit from high school that ain't nobody got pictures of. You think they did screenshot some shit? You think that shit ain't in a group chat? You think that shit don't tickle a nigga's soul every so often? Come on now. The internet is not a safe space. It is not. I don't give a fuck how much you want it to be. It's not. It's unforgiving. It's unforgettable. Do not get on this motherfucker telling all your business. Because just as dang dad can vouch for it, I'm going to be able to vouch for it. I know that there's going to be a time that comes when this show blows up. That is going to be some shit I done said that a nigga going to have to answer to. It's, it, and that's just the way it is. The internet is not forgiving. And it definitely ain't forgiving when you're recording everything. I just... I think there's, and let's get right So, it's a very big difference between telling all your business and sharing your testimony. You know, I think it's one thing to share stories, anecdotes, or whatever, to uplift people, okay? To inspire people, to change the narrative, to promote change. I want to encourage you <laughs> to only share the details that are relevant to doing so. Like, do not be sharing extra shit niggas don't need to know. Like, we got to cut that out. Facts. Mean what you say, say what you mean the first time. Okay? 
Okay, I'm trying to tell you, and 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 and, and, and let me say this. I'm gonna definitely say this because there are very there's some times where you can misspeak, which is why I think it's important that if that's brought up to say, you know what, this is. Who? That's a good point. Now, let me circle back to that. If you happen to say something you don't mean and it's brought up in question. The first thing, if that's literally not what you meant, before you allow the comment section and niggas who shared it to make you defensive, remember that the initial remember that the purpose is to always say, I didn't mean to. That's not what I meant. Do not ever, and it's a note to itself, because a nigga just got a couple years ago being able to take criticism. No cap. So if you ever get to the point where something you said is in question, do not be afraid to say, you know what, my bad. Do not allow the shares. Do not allow the comment section. Do not allow nobody else to jump on your head and put you in such a corner that you can't say my bad. Because you got to remember, you didn't even mean what you said. Don't allow the naysayers that don't know what you meant. Don't do that. Be, be very quick to say, you know what, my bad, that's not what I meant. This is what I meant. And go ahead and clarify. Regardless of what the fuck the situation is, regardless of if it goes as big as what you missed that, of what you, um... If what you did mean to say went as big, you know, be quick to say, my bad, that ain't what I meant, X, Y, Z, and explain. Okay? Don't be so quick to jump in the, I ain't do that, 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 that. I ain't y'all don't, I said what I said, don't do that. Because that, that becomes a character situation. But when you get out here and you get to talk, and this is a note for myself, because I know I done said some shit like, mm, bitch, it's going to bite you in your ass. I know. I already know. And I just hope that. I'm I'm very mature and grown to the point that I can say my bad first before I get to defending myself. Before I get to my bad, that ain't what I meant. Let me clarify. You know what I'm saying? And we got to be mindful of that. Like, sometimes we get too prideful. When I understand the pressure can be a lot, but you got to get on these podcasts. You got to get on my these talk shows. You got to get on these statuses. You got to get on there and you got to speak responsibly. And I understand everybody's not the best writer. So some of us may not be as skilled in writing exactly how we feel and articulating it to the best of our ability. So if it ever comes up in question, be be comfortable. Be just be 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 real enough to say my bad. I get that we ain't all there, but you gotta be like my bad. That's not what I meant. This is what I meant. X Y Z. You know what I'm saying? So. We got to, I'm honestly, we got to speak responsibly, y'all. We cannot get on these podcasts and just be telling God knows what because it's unforgiving, it's unforgettable. The shit, the internet undefeated, y'all. Hey, hello, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good. It's good to see you. Make sure you drop in the comment section something you're grateful for and share this live with three friends. You know, hit that little arrow, send it to three people you think will love it. Um, You know... When you share your testimony, like I said, just make sure that you're sharing details that are relevant to the to helping to your cause. Like, make sure you're not sharing, you know, you went on a rant, you start sharing some unnecessary stuff, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're sharing things that that are still on on point, okay, are aligned with the purpose. Um, and understand every, every test that you go through is not meant to be shared, okay? You don't got to tell every time you fall. Granted, you need to share and let people know, you know, you're imperfect, X, Y, Z. Um, and, and I would encourage you to be vague with the details, depending on what it is. Be very vague. But you do not have to share every every failure, okay? I know it's Instagram. I know ain't nobody sharing them. And you ain't got to share every last one of them either. You can keep some of them to yourself, okay? But you ain't got to share everything. Um, you know, and, and re- I think it's important that you think about why you're sharing your stuff. You know, that's the difference between telling all your business and being transparent. Why are you telling it? That's the word. That's a word to Brittany Michelle, one of our guests there. Um, why are you sharing it? What are you hoping to gain from sharing it? That right there, the answer is going to definitely tell you if you are being transparent or if you are telling all your business, which you need to know the difference. Stop, stop getting on. You know, there's a lot of things that people post on Facebook that can seem triggering or can seem really relatable. Stop getting in these comment sections telling all your business. Stop doing it because we screenshot it. It's going in group chats. Stop fucking doing it. Stop. Just stop. Stop posting stuff you don't want nobody to talk about. Stop. Because the internet, don't forget. Nigga, we don't forget. is in our screenshots. It's in the group chat. And I'm not saying it to be like people are going to tease you, but the reality is people are going to tease you. People are going to talk about you. They're going to judge you. Stop putting shit out there you don't want to be judged for. 
Stop putting shit out there that you don't want nobody talking about. Four years from now, nigga, six months from now. Stop. Let me tell you this. Stop putting stuff out there that affects other people when you ain't consulted with those people. There was an interview that Jay-Z did a while ago. He sat down with a black man and he talked about therapy. He talked about, I think he talked about infidelity. He talked about um, his mom and her sexuality. And then, and, and through that, he talked about telling stories that affect other people and how careful you have to be. This is, when I, when I, when I saw that Irv Gotti clip of him bringing up the shit he said, I said, you got to be one of the dumbest motherfuckers alive. How dare you? How dare you? Like, did you think before you spoke, did you think about how that would affect your wife? Like, did you think about your kids? And I get it. You got to live your truth. I'm all for that. My nigga. But when you live in your truth and you telling these stories, you got to be mindful of the people that's going to catch the backlash. Who are the people that are affected by you sharing your stories? Even, and it, it's not saying that, you got to lie, but you got to be mindful. You know what I'm saying? It, he could have easily glossed over a lot of that shit. He ain't have to go. It's just like you have to be mindful of telling your stories and the people that they affect. Leave some details out. Nigga, change some names. Hell, some locations if you got to, to protect those that are involved. Because you are not the only person in that story. And when those cameras stop rolling and the clips start going up, and they start finding people Facebooks and they commented on people pictures. You got your family out here looking like a fucking fool. You got your wife out here looking like a fucking fool. You involving people with shit that they didn't ask to be a part of. You got to be mindful when you telling these stories on these fucking podcasts. I don't need your, he's, he even cheating on his wife for the last eight years with no comments. I ain't really got much to say about dog. But my thing is when he went up, my thing with that is that when he went on there, he said how, um, iced tea and you know let Coco let him touch Coco it's like did you think about how that would make Coco feel regardless of what the fuck she does in her spare time behind closed doors regardless of what they do as a married couple did you think about how that would affect them if that was something that they all that they wanted the world to know you know what I'm saying did you think about who you were dating who you were in a relationship how that would make them look and if your answer to those questions is that ain't got nothing to do with them it ain't none of their business I'm talking about me then you are a selfish motherfucker because you do not get to tell a story that involves other people without taking them, to them into consideration. You don't. You just don't. And you don't get to tell them type of fucking stories on in front of millions of people. And that's my thing with this is that we're telling stories by all means living your truth. But y'all are telling stories that involve other people and you ain't getting their consent. And that shit right there is bothersome. You don't get to you know, damage people's lives and, and, and destroy their shit without fucking consulting with them. Like, that's not cool. So I'm advising anybody, if you think you want to get on the, these podcasts, these talk shows and tell stories and you, and you got and you know they involve other people, send them a text. Hey, bro, I was thinking about talking about that one time. We, 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 you mind if I share that? Ain't nothing wrong with that. It's respect. And if y'all friends, they should have a problem with it. And if they do not give you the okay, then you don't open your fucking mouth. And that's as simple as that. Find another fucking story. Neil's a fucking multimillionaire. Nigga got plenty of stories he can talk about. He got plenty of asses he can talk about grabbing. I mean, he didn't already embarrass his fucking wife. Why you gotta bring that man, wife and him into it? Did they give you the okay to talk about that? That shit not cool. It's not okay. And he ain't the first motherfucker to do it. The situation with Kanye, it's like you and Big Sean are friends. Did you think about how that's going to affect your friend? But we know that motherfucker off his rocker too, so I guess that don't really matter. When it comes to Irv Gotti, like I said, did you think about how your kids are going to view that? Like, a lot of times, you know, men are, you know, you want to be the head of your household. You want to be the king and the head. Did you think about how the little ones following you look at you? Did you think about how they're going to look at you when you're doing shit like that with you and they think, mama? You think they're going to like you? I don't know what you said. Go. What? Gigi. JJ's gone. Can you go do me a favor? Go potty and then we'll we'll come back and get you a popsicle. Go potty. Sorry, I know I'm a mama full time. Um, but that's my main thing with these people getting on these podcasts. On the flip side, as a talk show host, I really enjoy that I've created a space that people feel comfortable to share their stories. Absolutely. But I'm also very mindful that I don't want to take advantage of 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 that vulnerability. And I'm not saying that these people are, you know, drink champ hosts and then are taking advantage because y'all willingly signing up to come on these fucking shows. It's definitely not that. But 
I don't know. I feel like some some got to be done. My thing is, I really like the stories about hip hop and the industry that, you know, I know there are a lot of secrets, tons of secrets, things that I'll never make the light. But it's really starting to look like is I used to think it was kind of sucker free and now it's not like these some fucking ham ass niggas. They getting on these shows, giving a little drink, putting a little mic and now they telling all their business. And it's like this nigga who mans is this type shit because who is dog? You know what I'm saying? I remember the interview with Dirk and Vaughn, and the nigga Dirk hit Vaughn's leg. Like, hey, baby, shut that shit down. And, and Vaughn shut that shit right up. Some of these niggas on these podcasts need a nigga tapping their leg, telling them to shut the fuck up because you talking too much. It's it's beyond me at this point, okay? This shit is beyond me. You niggas are fucking the game up. Like, you don't got to tell everything. You do not have to tell. Some shit you supposed to take to the grave. Everybody ain't supposed to know everything. What your mama tell you? Everything ain't for everybody. Okay, everything ain't for the internet. I don't give a fuck what it is. Some shit you need to keep to yourself. Not just because, um, you know, it ain't supposed to be on the internet, but to protect the people around you and the people that love you. Some of them stories you are sharing and telling affect other people. And if you ain't got the balls enough to text them and let them know, hey, do you mind if I share this? Do you, ain't, you shouldn't even be opening your mouth saying nothing about it on no damn podcast. It's aggravating because it's like... It's, it's like it's like embarrassment all over again. Maybe Irv Gotti's wife was embarrassed because she knew that nigga cheated. Now she re-embarrassed fucking five, six, seven, eight, ten years later because the nigga opened his mouth again. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, this nigga, bro. Oh, my God. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know if it's a publicity stunt, which it probably is. But it's like, y'all have to do better. Let's say hi, right? Y'all got to do better. Um. Yes. One moment, you guys. Let me finish working. Don't come in. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thank you guys for being so patient. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I left off. Um, but yeah, so it's really just important that people are not telling all their business. Um, what do y'all think about this? Like, have y'all seen the clips? Because um, this is just too much for me. I really am. I'm shocked. I feel like... Um, what y'all think? I'm out of breath. Whew. Get doing that running, trying to hurt and get back. Um, I don't know. I think clout is at an all time high. I think that. I think that clout is probably like the new drug outside of outside of like pills and stuff. I think clout is like the new drug. People are doing whatever for it. And it's like, it don't necessarily mean money. Clout don't really necessarily mean you get more money. It's like popularity. 15 minutes of fame. Clout is really, depending on how you do it, your little 15 minutes of fame. People are doing anything for their 15 minutes of fame. For a shade room post. To be trending. It's their 15 minutes of fame. People are dying literally for their 15 minutes of fame. And it's just... Is is really I just really don't want people to think that they can get on here saying whatever they want to say about in these stories and and don't think you have to answer for it. When the camera stop rolling, you gotta answer for the fuck shit you said when they were. You know what I'm saying? What that means, say you out on the streets trying to prove you a real nigga. When you get in here with me, you gonna have to prove me prove to me you ain't. Like that's what it's gonna be. You out you all out here doing this fuck shit on camera. And you're going to have to prove you ain't no fuck nigga when they are. That's just, that's just what it is. And it's really just like, I feel like it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse that people's secrets are going to be divulged 
um, divulged. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Can't say it. Um, it's just gonna be a lot of things that are be coming out on these podcasts. If it's not a gossip podcast already out, I'm sure they should be out. They probably should be making bank at this point. Um, but it's just really bad, and I really am. Is I hope I ain't pissed nobody off and tell nobody my business. They get on one of these podcasts and get the get the drink and tell my shit. I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick about it. Like God damn that nigga. So I hope that God ain't pissed nobody off that bad that they know some shit about me. Some real shit. Because, you know, niggas... That's another thing. People get on this bitch get the lying. That's another thing. That's that's why you damned if you, you damned if you don't. Uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't. To get on this bitch telling the truth about motherfuckers and you ain't consulted with about these stories before sharing them. Don't do that. Then don't get on these bitches lying either, though. Because you be lying saying some shit happened and didn't happen. And you still gonna have to answer the motherfuckers when the camera stop rolling. Y'all better get on these podcasts, get to telling shit that only you know. You know, it's a couple people around you. Get on here telling the truth. Because y'all getting on these podcasts. Y'all telling people's business. You don't know how they feel about it. And y'all burning bridges. This is, to me, I feel like this is literally a lot of people are going to start using it. I'm just living in my truth as a justification for burning the bridges and ending a lot of these friendships based on the shit that they be saying on these podcasts. Don't get on these podcasts and put some you living in your truth telling shit that involve other people without consulting with them first. You fucking up. Okay, you fucking up your friendships, you fucking up the way people look at you. Not that you should really give a fuck about how people look at you. You feel me? I'm saying, but your reputation what take 10 years to build, 10 seconds to ruin. Just saying, you fucking up your reputation, you fucking up your relationships, you fucking up your current relationships, any type of relationships. You gon' you fucking shit, they fuck with all you fuck, you fucking shit up. You just fucking shit up, okay? And then you looking like you can't hold water because if you ain't said it today. What the fuck else happened 10 years ago that you're going to be talking about? You're just making yourself look untrustworthy to me. There you go. You're fucking up your friendships. You're fucking up your reputation. You're making yourself look untrustworthy. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to want to do business with a motherfucker who can't hold water. For what? You're just going to tell it. You know what I'm saying? And it's really just, it's, it's unattractive. You're, you're making yourself look ugly. Okay? You're making yourself look ugly. You're ruining your friendships. You're ruining relationships. You make yourself look untrustworthy. You just, you burning bridges. You fucking up all the way around. And I think that y'all got to be mindful when y'all hop on these podcasts. Because y'all tell some shit. Have you seen, have you guys seen the, um, the Irv Gotti clip or the, uh, Neo clip? It's, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck. And it's men. It's men. Um, I don't know if women would catch the same backlash. I think it's kind of like a man. I know we, I think we all kind of expect women to like tell our homegirl. But I don't know if women get on there and do no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I think the last time, I mean, maybe some, I think Brittany Renner, I think she does shit like that. Uh, what was the last lady super hit? Was it, did she write a book or something? Is that the lady I'm thinking about? Wrote a book about all the people she slept with? Something like that. Fucking up people. I mean, she put in a book. You know niggas don't read. You know niggas ain't reading no book to find out who she was doing it to. Um, have y'all seen, I see you guys joining in. Have y'all seen the Irv Gotti and the Neo clip about Neo saying, I see let him touch Coco butt. And then Irv Gotti saying he was sitting with his wife when he found out Ashanti cheated on him or something. Have y'all seen that? What y'all think about people getting on these podcasts telling all their business? I think that people are making themselves look very untrustworthy, ruining their reputation, and then burning bridges. That's what I think. And I think that if you did anything and pissed them off and they know something, I'd be very fucking careful. Because <laughs> they on these bitches tell everything. I'm trying to tell y'all, you give a nigga a mic. And a little bit of drink, and he gonna tell everything he know. Everything he saw. He gonna tell shit he heard that he couldn't even really confirm. Be careful. Be careful. Because it used to be the blogs. Shit. These podcasts about to have these blogs running for their motherfucking money. Actually, nah, not really. Because niggas probably don't even be watching the podcast all the way through to catch the good shit. It's really gonna be the blogs posting the highlighting clips. Y'all got to be careful. What y'all think? What do y'all think about that clip? Have y'all seen them? What y'all think about people telling stories on these podcasts, telling all their business? I think I need to tell you. the diff I think I told the difference. Be I think I said the difference between telling all your business and, and just telling and being transparent. I think that being transparent, you have a goal at, at the end. I think when you're transparent... You yeah, you have a goal. You want to uplift. You want to encourage change. You want to change the narrative. Um, 
I think those are goals when you're trying to be transparent. I think you have an end thing you're trying to accomplish when you're being transparent. When you're just telling all your business, you're just talking too much. That's what that is. You ain't got no goal. You ain't got nothing you're trying to accomplish. And maybe you do, but maybe it's stupid, honestly. I know you ain't supposed to say things are stupid, but some shit don't. Some shit real fucking stupid. Like, if you're not trying to encourage, change, uplift people, you know, then you really just telling all your business. And I, I want to remind y'all again, the internet is not a fucking safe space. Also, this is what I want to also want to say. The difference, a lot of, a big difference between being transparent and telling your story, telling all your business, has a lot to do with who you telling. That's another thing. Who are you telling this to? Who are you telling? And I think it's and, and it's and I know it sounds crazy, but you need to vet who you telling your shit to. You need to know who the fuck you talking to. You telling somebody that's already set in their ways, that don't give a fuck, that ain't really trying to change all your business. You think you trying to be transparent, but you really just telling her all your business. And you might be like, well, how am I supposed to know she ain't gonna take the advice? Let me tell you, is this the same person I keep bringing the same situation up? Do they keep coming back asking for advice on the same situation? Better yet, do they keep finding themselves in the same situation with a different motherfucker? And I know y'all keep making things sound like a nigga, but that could be a job too. You keep going to these fucking jobs that you know you ain't going to show up for. Keep getting into it with people with different jobs. The motherfuckers ain't looking for no advice. They looking for somebody to complain to. Stop trying to be transparent because you're not. You're really telling them all your business. They don't want no advice. They want to complain. They want to do the same shit and they don't want no help. So be careful about who you're talking to. That's another thing when it comes to telling your business versus being transparent. Who the fuck are you talking to? Is they even going to take the advice? Because if not, you just telling all your business. It's as simple as that. You got a purpose at the end of telling all of this? Or are you just talking to be talking? Because if you're talking to be talking, you telling all your business. Did you consult with a motherfucker before you shared that story? You didn't. You just telling all your fucking business. And if you did it on a podcast, ain't nobody going to ever forget it because... Them bitches are recorded. They're there. And I feel like I remember somebody posting and saying, like, the luxury of being born years ago was that there were no cameras then. And I was like, you ain't never fucking lied. Because there's so much shit. Like, growing, I got to be, I'm in a group that got to experience before technology for real. You know what I'm saying? And now I got to experience technology going full blast. So I knew what it was like when there were no cameras. You know what I'm saying? I got to experience that and enjoy that. And it's like, some of y'all don't know nothing but to put a fucking camera. Y'all don't know how to fix the situation, what to do. All you know is turn the camera on and start rolling. And it's really fucked up. You can't get away with shit nowadays. Not saying we need to be getting away with some things. But for the better or for worse, there's always a camera rolling. And it's sad. Um, clout is a hell of a drug. <coughs> clout is a hell of a drug. Um, I don't know. It's worse than perks and shit that they be on. It's really just like... <sighs> You can try anything for some clout. You can try anything for some clout. What, what do you need? Okay, I'm in the middle of a show. Okay, get it and get out. I'm in the middle of a show. Anyway. So sorry, y'all. My child does not care. Um, that I'm trying to make a living or follow my dreams. Um, but he just wants to watch TV in his room. Um, so yeah, I think again, like I said, you always got to talk to people before y'all share any stories. Um, and y'all, y'all can't just be on here talking and not thinking about the people that these stories affect when you telling the story. Like, it's so funny. I posted a clip the other day. (laughs) That's so funny. I posted a clip the on my personal page and i was telling about a time i saw murder pain i didn't, didn't say meet him okay i literally saw this man it was not a meet i never once spoke to him anything like that but because of who all was involved in that story who he is in the city of detroit there were some things i changed in that story to protect people okay i literally said at the beginning of that clip and i'll post it afterwards that there were some names and places changed to protect those involved and that is something that disclaimer should always be kept in mind when you are on these podcasts telling stories that do not just involve you okay keep in mind who these stories affect um that was one of a good one of a good quote that jay-z said on an interview 
because you got to be mindful when you're telling these stories, especially when you were a certain type of person. When you when you got a really big platform, when you own a bigger platform, you got to be mindful because people do get embarrassed. Like, I know people want to be like, I don't let shit bother me. I'm unfazed. I'm Ray Charles to the bullshit. I'm bothered, not like Fuck that. Niggas be embarrassed, okay? Niggas be bothered. Oh, that's what it is. Niggas be bothered as fuck. Upset, low key disappointed, embarrassed, ashamed. And that's the truth. So you need to be keeping that in mind when you out here talking. Please. Note to myself, but I always be keep I only be trying to share funny shit. I be trying to keep it to a minimum sometimes. So real spill. Unless, unless I don't really give a fuck about who in the story. Then I'ma say what the fuck I wanna say, cause if I get if I'm saying that, then I ain't give a fuck about what they got to say to me. Or I got permission. Or it's something that's been already commonly discussed. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gotta think about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap tonight's nice show up. I was about to get real loud because my kids just don't give a fuck. And I'll be trying to gentle parent on, you know how that go. But um I'm about to get ready to wrap it up. That's all I got for y'all today. Cloud chasing is at its finest. That's like the latest currency, y'all. It's scary. I'm going to go out the same way I came in, which is something I'm grateful for. Um, today, I am grateful to be able to follow my dreams. That's what I'm most grateful for. That's all I got for you all tonight. My name is Jerrell Carter. I'm the host of Let's Talk to Show You Guys and This and a Podcast Family. I will see you all next Tuesday with another great episode. Peace.